Um, in terms of this uh, semi-final, of course, you, you, you unfortunately missed it. The one 14 years ago through injury. Does, does that make you savour savour this one a, a wee bit more? Um, if I win, it probably will. Um, no, it's obviously disappointing last time, but it's a different challenge. It's a wee bit uh, further on in my life, so yeah, obviously it will be special. It'll be special for every player um, to get to this stage in a European competition for a club is is massive. Hi, Alan. The, the, there's a lot of uh, goals in this Leipzig team. I think they've scored in every European game this season. Are, are you? Are you don't strike us as the kind of guy that would ever kind of worry about stuff like that. I mean, are you? Are you kind of very level-headed going into all these kind of challenges? Um, pretty much. You you sort of do your due diligence beforehand, but it's a game of football as if it's any other. If you're playing any other team. Um, that's not just being disrespectful, by the way. Um, you just need to face the challenges that come ahead, and that's it, regardless of who you're playing. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Leipzig. Um, uh, Leipzig, Christopher Nkunku is on, on pretty decent shape this season. Um, he scores uh, goals uh, out of you know many positions on the pitch. Is, do, you, do you prepare specially for such a kind of player? Do you watch videos of him, or uh, is it, as you said before, just just a normal player, just a normal opponent? Ah, oh, no. Again, it's not been disrespectful by saying normal. I think every team in, ever has a chance to score, and it's and being in that position at the right time, just dealing with it. Doesn't matter who it is, in my opinion. Doesn't matter if it's him. It takes a shot. Whoever takes a shot. If you're playing a team in the third division, a team are playing a team in the semi-final Europa League, you still need to save it or deal with it. Alan, what is it about these European nights that you think brings out the best in this current Rangers squad? Um, a different challenge, uh, different stadiums, the crowd at Ibrox, is, as it's, everybody knows, is uh, special. Um, so probably a mixture of all that. Alan, people keep saying you've had a long career, but um, in terms of the results, that you've had in, in Europe in the last couple of years under Steven Gerrard and now Gio. Has this been one of the most satisfying elements of your career, the, the, the recent runs in Europe? Um, well, it's got to be. Uh, four and a half, well, three and a half, oh, yeah, three and a half years ago. I don't think anybody thought we would qualify for the groups. And then each year we've progressed. Um, I don't know how we're going to progress next year right enough, but it's been an unbelievable achievement for all the boys and the staff throughout the the three and a half years, three and a bit years. So um it's been a it's been a good run. That's whether it's the best sort of consistent run, it probably is. I don't know, I've don't been back in history on that, but it's it's definitely going to be up there. Island, I'm just wondering as you contemplate uh, whether you're gonna be at the club or play football again for another season, what being at the semi-final and potentially a final for you means at this stage of your career? Well, I never thought it was going to happen, to be honest with you. So, you just, as I've said that a million times, you just take each game as it comes. Um, and luckily, not well, luckily, we've done well and we've deserved to be here, but I'm obviously glad we're here. Um, it will be a big occasion for the club, big occasion for the players, and we just need to go and enjoy it. Alan, can I ask you, are, are, are you making a conscious effort to try and savour every game and every big occasion now? Because, you know, time waits for no man. Is that in your mind? Um, savour it. Probably after the games, I'll try and savour it more with the fans and that. Um, no, just um, like, even after the game at Hamden, I'm just walking about, just savouring the atmosphere. Um, so I... There's something I'm sort of maybe consciously doing now, savouring things more.